Hi boys and girls. Today I'd like to read to you Be Kind by Pat Miller and illustrated by Jan Hill. When I take a look at the title, I notice that it's a command, Be Kind. The author is drawing us in and calling us to action. So as I read the book, I'd like you to think about the ways the author is calling us to action and also take note of the way he changes and she changes the font in each of uh, the pages. Be kind. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind. So I tried. I don't think it worked, I said. Purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art, art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her a napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spill my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi, who lives alone. Maybe it's giving. Letting someone with smaller feet have my tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping. Putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, so our class guinea pig He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to my Aunt Franny stories, even the ones I've heard several times before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying, thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to being kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla, what's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi. Minkle bomb. Being car kind can be hard too. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. Even when I'm trying to be patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know that she likes purple too. Maybe I can do small things, but my small things may join small things other people do and together they could grow into something really big. 
something really big. So big that all our kindness spill out all over our school, spread throughout the town, right back to Tanisha and me, so we can be kind again and again and again. I hope you enjoyed the story and think about ways that you can be kind to help make our school and community a better place.